And now, ladies and gentlemen, our final uh, President's Address this morning comes from the Digital Mobile and Digital Craft Jury President, Kentaro Kimura. He will talk about the role of technology in the creative industry. So please welcome now to the stage the co-chief executive officer and the executive creative director from Hakahodo Kettle, Tokyo, Kentaro Kimura. So uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Kentaro Kimura, uh, co-CEO and CD of Hakodo Kettle, Tokyo, Japan. And yesterday, uh, we finished judging uh, the digital, mobile, and digital craft. And uh, it was uh, wonderful days with uh, wonderful jury uh, members. And uh, while judging, uh, apart from ideas and craft, I was also uh, interested in the, what kind of ambition the creators and planners had and what they felt the most important. Would you put the brand as a first priority? Or do you think client comes first? Or the agency business first? Or the award first? Or the creative idea first? Or new technology comes first? Or social impact first? So what, they, what did they uh, believe in uh, the communications deep insight? So uh, today, I'd like to talk about uh, what I feel uh, the most important uh, during uh, building creative, especially using new technology, right? Um, in my experience of my uh, judging in international award show more than 20 times, I always feel like that the diversity of the opinions is the most important. Because, of course, uh, to hear the variety of uh, different opinion, different point of view, makes uh, judging exciting. And when we think of the polar opposite axis uh, of keeping diversity in our industry, we think of the two mysterious words, that is, traditional and non-traditional. Traditional creative, non-traditional creative, uh, traditional media, non-traditional media, whatever. But think about it. What's traditional? What's non-traditional? Well, traditional means mass media and um, all the existing way. And uh, non-traditional means uh, the others, new innovative way. OK, OK. So how many old the traditional is? 100, 100 years ago? 50? No, it's just a little over 10 years. I remember that in 2004, uh, that was 12 years ago, I went to Cannes Lions for the first time, and at that time, the TVC was the main part of the show. And uh, at that time, I watched more than 2,000 TVC there. But at the same time, the Titanium Lion had begun, and a variety of communication way, communication technology um, has been developed every year and uh, many creative keywords were born every year so firstly uh, i will take you to a journey to uh, check out my favorite creative words in these uh, 10 years please have a look You know she's gonna shake her little ass. 
Yeah, in these uh, 10 years uh, or so, uh, the, our communication uh, fields are transforming, evolving, and expanding. And this, it creates, created a new touch point like uh, internet, social media, and then it also created new senders, not from just a um, client, but also from the general public, like user-generated content, viral marketing, and also new methods were born, like using digital technology mainly, and also new purpose of the brand were born, like CSV, and also it gained new form of communication, like movie, news, and application. And even how to create idea transformed from just copy and art to the new source of idea like data technology. So our industry uh, has been expanding drastically in these 10 years. Uh, generally, uh, the traditional is the center and the non-traditional is the area out of spread. The typical non-traditional creative um, pursue uh, the latest technology always, shouting, be innovative. And, uh, and uh, they uh, spend uh, the enormous um, energy and time to develop new communication way using technology. Because they believe that the new technology may be able to solve the problem that humans can't. And on the other hand, the typical traditional uh, creative, uh, they feel that the new technology, new media may leave humanity behind and calling on us, go back to human. Believing TV ads are still most powerful tool to touch our hearts. Because no matter how the media circumstance changed, human being will not change. What do you think? Which type are you? In fact, there is one missing, critical missing point in those two ideas. Do you know what, it's, what it is? It's not true that human being doesn't change. In reality, human is also changing drastically too. I will explain this with my, fav my, my favorite phrase from one Japanese scientist. Once you see a truly beautiful sunset and are deeply moved, you are not the same person anymore. So if you experience intense emotional experience, you, become the, you will become the different person. It will change your personality, behavior, and even how you think and feel. Therefore, all of you who came to Spikes Asia and now listen to my seminar may be living different life tomorrow. Unless my seminar is so boring without no stimulation emotionally. But anyway, uh, you are reborn every day. We are reborn every day. Even we can't change the world today, we may be able to change the world tomorrow. So life is unpredictable. That's why life is exciting. Every morning I wake up, I feel that today is the best day in my life. That's my present motto. And I started to think like that uh, after I found out that I'm reborn every day. Um, actually, in my, yeah, when, when I was 20, I backpacked all over the world for one year. And it was so exciting days that therefore, uh, since then, I used to think this was the best moment in my life, but not anymore, not anymore. This moment, this moment, uh, judging in the small room all day from the morning to night, flooded by email from my clients and account executives, and uh, having press interview and giving a speech in English, which is not my native language, is much better than when I was 20. So, um, yeah, so, uh, the, so uh, even uh, you had a, 
uh, yeah, but of, co of course, uh, backpacking is more exciting than working, though. Uh, anyway, the, no matter how much, how, how much good times you had in the past, in your past, uh, you are uh, the best now because you are the newest you. Okay, uh, let's go back to our industry. Um, technology and media are changing rapidly, and we people are changing rapidly too. So that means we can't go back to analog way of life. We cannot live without uh, internet, smartphone, and SNS. So the answer is in evolution. Not going back to human, but moving forward to human. I mean, uh, when we become better and smarter people, uh, we may be able to uh, the build a better life and society. So, uh, and we, uh, so um, here is the point. I believe that digital technology can and should play a role to, uh, in changing people to be more human. Not leaving humanity behind, but uh, expanding humanity. That's technology, I believe. And that, well, that's what we call humanization. So by um, incorporating our creativity into technology, uh, we can humanize our culture and lifestyle and make it more human-centered. And we can solve, by changing ourselves and humanize it, uh, we can even solve the problem that technology can't. So now, what's the key for the humanization creative? The answer is, I believe, emotion energy. Because the energy from the emotion is the source of humanity. But um, the emotion energy I, I said here is not the superficial state of mind like being happy, I'm mean, angry, sad, hungry. These are just simply uh, the emotional outputs. So what we call emotion energy here is what it is more fundamental uh, humanity, which is like love, friendship, bravery, compassion, curiosity, appreciation, admiration, envy, irony, imagination, nostalgia, confidence, pride, justice, humor, and so on. Machines and computers do not have this emotion energy. Some of you may say, no, AI robots have emotion. They cry and laugh, and it will be more emotional like human beings. No, I don't think so. The robots can have only a superficial reaction or expression to the stimulation. So only human beings can have this strong emotion energy. Emotion causes us to do and act something. Even negative emotion can change ourselves positively sometimes. So emotion energy is a wonderful driving, driving force to move humanity forward. So now, uh, how can we create an innovative campaign which humanizes us using new technology? Mm. When we create computer, we install IC chips, right? Similarly, when we create a campaign, we install EC. EC, it is, it's emotion chip. It's not European community. It's not Eric Crapton, it's EC, emotion chip. Um, so emotion chip is so diverse and colorful. So uh, let me tell you some of the emotion chip that has been installed in the kettle's work um, in the past. For example, a blue EC called Nostalgia. And there, are the, there is um, the digital archive service uh, like uh, YouTube and Picasa at Google. And uh, so we installed this blue EC nostalgia in it and to create the, the, the 
digital, new digital platform to help the tsunami victim uh, when the Japan suffered a big earthquake. Memory for the future. Please have a look. How can Google help the Japanese earthquake victims? Recovery of memories. The tsunami had taken away their houses, but they also lost things which were difficult to replace. Photos and videos which were saved in albums and hard disks. The memories of the victims have been lost. If they lose their past, it's difficult to move into the future. And we hope for the recovery of these memories and created a project to bring back photos and videos that they had lost. We first created a website where the victims can submit a memory they want to recover. Moreover, we set post boxes at 45 locations within the disaster site and uploaded handwritten posts onto the web. We then collected all the request messages and spread them all over Japan through newspaper ads, banner ads, and TV commercials. We created a. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, if you lose your past, uh, it's difficult to look forward because uh, memory is important because memory gives you uh, joy, hope, and inspiration in difficult time. So uh, by installing the nostalgia into the technology of this uh, archive, uh, we, we, we created the new digital platform uh, to support the victims to stand up like human beings. The next case is about whiskey. So do you like whiskey? And how do you drink whiskey? Do you, like, do you drink whiskey like this? <coughs> like beer? No, uh, unless you uh, lose your peach or uh, broken hearted, uh, you'd probably taking time, take your time enjoying whiskey, like swallowing ice cube mm, in the glass. So when people drink whiskey, uh, people imagine a variety of things. And uh, in addition, in appreciation for seasons, uh, this Japanese blended whiskey contains a blend of uh, the uh, seasonal harvested ingredients. That's why uh, we installed imagination and appreciation for seasons in sensor technology and created Hibiki glass for the blend. Please have a look. Suntory Hibiki, which means harmony, is one of the best known blended whiskies in Japan. How can we share with the world Hibiki's craftsmanship, born from a fusion of tradition and innovations? Blending traditional Japanese design with innovative sensor technology, we developed the world's first interactive whiskey glass. Hibiki glass. Tilting, touching, swirling, or drinking out of the glass produces audio and visual effects of the four seasons relating the brand story of Hibiki. This experience was filmed and released. これ、拾っ<笑><笑> 
避難しなきゃ。<笑>始まりは幸せの戸惑いだった。
forward, there's no end. I can see where we're spinning carelessly. Road will be as far away and back, you know. Go, go. I see the rising tide in you, and the sun is shining through. Each day I see a little more. In time, you'll close the door in the dark. Shining light to show your spark. Find your moment, make your mark as you grow. Go, go. I watch you start to run as far as you can, just like sand in my hands. I know that you can stay. I know, I know it's hard to take this time apart can really ache. So while I learn to fly away, I love you each and every day in my heart with every course I learn to chart with every end there is a start and ebb and flow go go thank you for the love you share you always made time to spare I wasn't always so aware but now I know just how you learned to set me free I learned to be who I could be and now I think I finally see the high and low go go wherever I may go you know I'll be fine over time I will shine I'll make you proud of me So uh, last case studies I'd like to introduce today is just uh, also online film that uh, we've launched uh, just in the summer, in this summer. And the client is the third uh, biggest auto shop chain in Japan. And because the summer in Japan is very hot, like in here, in Singapore, so this auto shop uh, decided to offer the services and, and uh, devices uh, for people to stay cool in their cars. And because we think this is a kind of technology, we decided to install a humor and a little bit irony in it. So that's how to drive. Please have a look. Des 
les escargots Seigneurs d'amuser sur le canapé On aime bien manger L'été, l'été qui me fait bien chauffer Ouh là 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 C'était l'été qu'on s'est rencontré Thank you. So, uh, since industrial revolution, um, the, the variety of engineers all over the world has been uh, invented and developed a variety of hardware, uh, cars, TVs, computers. And it shifted from the hardware era to the software era. That's content, application, and advertising we've created is also software. But I believe what we should create from now on is hardware, hardware, uh, which combine software and hardware together, and that give new emotion to people. So in conclusion, uh, once you experience something new, something emotional, new emotion, uh, you become the different person. So, uh, so, so by installing emotion chip or emotion energy in technology, we can create hardware. Hardware is sometimes the digital platform like memory for the future, and sometimes the digital device like Hibiki Glass, or I play the piano, some of them search engine like Hanzon Search, or the social movement like Call Her Name, or online movie like Loving Eyes and Hot Drive. Think human first and move forward to human and create hardware. And finally, uh, the, what's most important, more important, is changing ourselves. The larger number and the more variety of emotions we experience, the richer our lives will be. So change ourselves and be reborn every day to be a better human. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Kentaro Kimura from Hakahodo Kettle in Tokyo. Many thanks indeed.